Hi, this is Jim Hood from a company called Interaction Technologies Limited. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can capture your PowerPoint slideshows to a .flv video file that you can then load to YouTube. But first some context about ITL. We produce things we call knowledge assets. These are videos that are synchronised with slides and synchronised with a scrolling transcript and are text searchable and have a host of features that are designed to improve the learning experience of the user and promote collaboration. Unfortunately, even though these knowledge assets aren't terribly expensive to produce, we sometimes run into situations where the uh, user doesn't have enough budget to produce them. Uh, but we like to help. Uh, so we're always looking for our cheaper and faster and simpler alternatives and that's what I want to take you through now. So it's a free alternative. If you can do without the visual rapport with the presenter, if you can do without the ebook, if you can do without all the e-learning uh, whiz-bangs, then it may be that a PowerPoint slideshow with a voiceover mounted on YouTube could be an acceptable solution. The steps are First of all, you have to get yourself a screen capture piece of software. There are many out there, some that cost money and some that are free. This is a free one that I particularly like called Cam Studio. You'll also need to download a compression software. Again, there are many out there and many of them free. This product called WinFF is open source and includes a player and an encoder, which we'll both use later. You have to configure Cam Studio. There are many, many options. These are the ones that I've chosen. I've chosen to record the audio from the microphone. I've chosen to use Cam Studio's lossless codec. I've also chosen not to show the cursor. When you're ready, you open your slideshow before you start recording so that you don't have uh, your desktop visible in the video. Then press record. Right clicking down on the Cam Studio icon at the bottom will show you the pop up menu that allows you to do this. Then, when you've completed your slideshow, press stop. At that point, a dialog box will come up that enables you to choose the folder and file name to save an AVI file. Remember your file name for later. You'll need it when we're converting the AVI file to FLV. It's not necessary to convert the AVI file to FLV because YouTube will accept an AVI file. However, I found that the quality of the converted AVI in YouTube isn't good at all and thus I prefer to convert them to FLV using a screen capture codec first before loading to YouTube. To do this you need to use a program called FFmpeg which came with the WinFF download that I talked about earlier. And you can use a simple command line or you can use a .bat file. One way or another you want to execute a command line. And this is a line here on this slide. It should be one long line, not split up the way I have it in this slide. You should be very careful to include the quote marks where I've put them, include the spaces where I've put them. You should substitute <coughs> your specific folders for the folders that I have in red and drop off these uh, fancy brackets I have. They were just put there to show you the pieces that had to be replaced. You should also change the size parameter to match the screen resolution that you've used to capture the video at. So where it says minus S 720 by 450, I, actu I actually captured at 1440 by 900. But capturing to video at that full size results in a very large video. So I've halved the size. Once you're ready, run the command line and it will convert the video AV AVI file to FLV. Once you've done that, you should check the quality, make sure it looks okay. You can do this by running winff.exe and then dragging the file from your folder into the files pane, as I've done here, then press play. 
If the quality isn't what you'd expect <coughs> at this stage, or later when you see it on YouTube, it may be that there's, there's things you can do with your desktop that will improve the capture quality. Now Windows Media Encoder has its own screen capture utility and a help that gives you lots of suggestions that you might um, try to improve quality and the URLs here. The last step before you go to YouTube is to check the size of your video. It must be less than 10 minutes and less than 2 gigabytes in size. If it is greater than 2 gigabytes in size, you can reduce it by changing the compression setting for the bitrate in step 8. Make it, let's say, 250 kilobits per second rather than 500. Then you upload to YouTube and there's a nice help page on YouTube that tells you how to go about doing that. And that's it. Um, if you need more help, or you're interested in knowledge assets, or um, you want to think hard about how you might capture knowledge or make money out of knowledge, then you can contact us at these email addresses. Thank you.